Okay, in this tutorial we're going to create a composite attribute in Microsoft Word. A composite attribute would be something such as like a name that has uh, several values to the name, like for you'll have a last name, a first name, and a middle initial, but it is still a name. So one of the nice things now is we can show we can use a little bit of shortcutting since we already have uh, some attributes uh, and, and uh, shapes already created we can uh, click on our date of birth we can right click it and copy it click off of it and you can right click and paste and we can just slide it over so we'll slide that over to here um, I'm going to do three more or at least do one more here let's see because we also need the composite parts. Let's go ahead and do all three. We'll do our first, our last name, our first name, and our middle initial. Now, what you might find is that you have to move things around a little bit. So, here, we'll just go ahead and change this to name. Uh, we might even make it e name for employee name. And here, since we've added the, um, the E to it, you can see that the E on the end of name is disappeared. So you may have to expand your oval just a little bit so that it'll show up. So I'm just doing a little cleanup here so that everything will fit. All right, so from here, we want to go L name for last name. Again, having to readjust. F name for first name. And we'll just put MI for middle initial. Now, from here, you can uh, click on these. You can go back to insert. You can go back to shapes, and you can select a, a line. And we can draw the line from the e name to the employee entity. You can move it around a little bit like that. Right. But once we have that, maybe we want to go ahead and copy and paste this as well. So we can copy and paste because now we have to link our composite parts of our attribute to the actual attribute. So we link in our last name to the employee name. I'm going to just control V to paste another as a shortcut. Link our first name. And one more. Link our last name. So if you don't know what I was doing there, I was just grabbing the oval and you can you can move it around. And that is how we would create a composite attribute for an ER diagram in Microsoft Word.